Well, now it's actually the 4th of uh, September. It is 2 hours and 16 minutes into the 4th day of September. So, right, here we are. Oh, I'm just now at the Ohana Venture. I was going to go to bed, but uh, I was not feeling it right now. Uh, although I'm getting there. I've had my uh, iced tea milkshake. I'm making those again. Different uh, recipe, different uh, style, but uh, the quality still comes up just as just, just as good. Uh, it, 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 it takes a while to learn how to make things, how to adjust your menus. Your, uh, your menu in terms of uh, you have uh, something good to eat all the time. Oh. And that kind of swings back and forth depending on uh, what you have available in terms of the overall produce and the amount of time you have to spend in the kitchen. But these are the uh, some of the factors. And I have been able to spend more time in the kitchen lately, so I can uh, produce more uh, of a larger variety of foods. Uh, otherwise, things are just sort of chugging along. There's really not much to say other than uh, this is that transition point, and I will uh, come back to it, uh, to the uh, vlog in probably a couple hours. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> right now, the conversation just isn't here. Well, it is uh, just about three hours, well, it actually is three hours into the uh, fifth day of September, of September, <laughs> I just tripped over those, those words, I am tired, I, the tea I uh, have, this one here, uh, within about a half hour, 45 minutes, it knocks you out, uh, it's got a muscle relaxer in it, uh, it's one of the berries that I put in it, uh, acts as a uh, muscle relaxant. It, this is these things are medicine. They 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 do have a good physiological effect. And the thing is, is that it helps with my neurological disorder. The, 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 neuro, the neurological disorder causes the muscles to contract, and that's an activation of the muscle. And it stays activated; it doesn't relax. While with the muscle relaxant in there, it pulls the whole system back. It 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 it, it, it allows the uh, the contraction to release. So, uh, but it does make the entire body tired. It's like having mm, any medication that makes you drowsy. That's what it does. Within 45 minutes, uh, you're floating in the air, <laughs> so, to speak, so, so to speak. Uh, at least you feel like that anyways. Uh, doesn't matter how long my day goes, and the day has gone pretty well. Uh, it's always nice to have the YouTube, the YouTube stroll. I feel very comfortable with it. It makes me. It is the one thing that I know is the certain thing. Is it's my, it's my certainty, even though it is work. You know, you, you get to see a lot of different people, and how people see things. All of us may bemoan and be upset about all the stuff on YouTube and, and the vlogs and so on and so forth. And why are you putting your personal life out there and so on and so forth? But. It doesn't bother me. I actually find it very, uh, very nice. Uh, it's my choice of entertainment. This is what I like. I know I was watching Lyle today, and he's still on this whole thing about communism. And the, 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 unless you, if you talk about these things, and he did, anything that he doesn't approve of, in terms of his own thoughts and ideas, is stupid and childish. But this is, the, but the thing is, is, so why do I choose to watch him? Because this is what Voltaire was like. The whole intellectual movement is very um, inward looking. They, they, they consider themselves to be open minded, but they're really not open minded. They're very closed minded people. Mm -hmm. They just simply put on the, the, uh, they put on the effect of being open minded and sort of, you know, but the thing is, that because they put themselves on a pedestal of being an intellectual, they miss things that they consider non-intellectual or anti-intellectual. But you have to consider everything. You have to consider how everything sort of fits into place. 
And this is kind of how, 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 why he doesn't serve, why he doesn't see things. And you know, part of the work of my, uh, uh, my, my, my uh, atmospheric physics. For the last week or so, I've been having a hard time uh, placing some of the mechanisms. And it took me, it, it, it was there in front of me the whole time, but it took me an entire week to really put together, to pin down uh, some of the mechanisms, me, uh, some of the mechanisms for what was going on in the atmosphere. It really took me a while to, to, to sort of pin it down and readjust uh, how I did my data thing. Not, I, I had sort of Remove something from my data list in terms of my logs and, and my and my uh, my observational work. Uh, I had removed something. I didn't think it was necessary until I went back and said, "Okay, let me go and take a look at this thing once again," and realize that it was significant. But it wasn't significant by itself. It was significant with another reading from a meter uh, that showed uh, solar activity. And once I sort of put these two things together, now that thing made sense. And yet, it wasn't obvious to uh, a lot of good, good, it wasn't done by another group who, who put these two charts together. It's what I did, and but watching uh, data sets, the, ter the temperature, uh, from a variety of different countries that I had seen uh, a, a sort of placed on the globe that I had, that I see the the observational view, I instead of choosing one point to, to check the uh, the temperature data, I used several points, including some in South America. And, and, and it, it wound up being a very interesting study. There's a lot more to do still, but it gave me a better understanding for the observation I was doing outside. So bringing everything together, I began having a better understanding, but at the same time, there were things that was missing, and the, it was these two components that I had already. I just had them, had them there. They were there. It was when I realized that they were related, uh, that was a relationship there. That's when it became more significant. And and this is sort of the same thing here. You know, if you dismiss something, then you don't necessarily understand how the other person feels. I mean. There is no way that the Taliban, who live in a tribal society, they, they're the basically they're the Pashtuns, are going to understand what we understand. They see life in a completely different manner. The, the, the tribal life is fundamentally different, so their approach to governance is going to be fundament, fundamentally different as well. And they're talking about arranged marriages. You know that they oppose arranged mar marriages. Because they, 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 a lot of times these arranged marriages include uh, kids who are very young. Well, the problem is that I have uncles and an aunt, and several aunt, aunties, who uh, are together today. They they have no problems, uh, but they their marriages were arranged by their parents. They didn't uh, choose to marry each other. They were told who to marry, and they were young, they, they, coming off the farms, coming off an agrarian society. I mean, this goes back to uh, the old show Beverly Hill, uh, Beverly Hillbillies, and the the, the statement that comes out of there is sort of really telling because if you're not married by 16, you're an old maid. By 19, 19 years old, you're a spinster. So this gives you an understanding. We talk about these things, old maid, spinster, stuff like that. Well, how old were they? 16 and 19. Old maid was 16, uh, 19 was a spinster. And if you don't consider this, you sort of just toss that off with not being intellectual, then you would miss an entire understanding on how society worked before the modern society, or what we call the modern society. And have we made any better gains in terms of overall psychological existences? No. Matter of fact, our psychological conditions are we, one may argue is worse than it was in previous eras or previous uh, uh, centuries or decades. But we always think that today is the best time and that, the, that we are the most advanced, we are the most intelligent than, than we've ever been. But this can be seen throughout history. 
Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. And I will see you probably tomorrow at the same time, uh, probably as I end the uh, YouTube stroll and head off to the other office, the other research desk. Uh, and uh, we'll see what the dreams are like. They're pretty interesting, but uh, we'll talk about that maybe probably more tomorrow. Well, it is the 6th of uh, September. It is about four hours, I think five minutes into the day. Into the fifth, uh, sixth day of September. And we're vlogging once again back here. We uh, just finished watching uh, the YouTube stroll. I'm heading back to bed. That's right, I'm heading back to bed. Uh... <laughs> I gave myself a little time off. I didn't do observation today the way I was supposed to. Uh, I was just feeling too tired. So, I ended up going to bed. And bed is, is not uh, necessarily restful. It, it is uh, uh, a, just simply another mode of work, I mean, another mode of studying. Because I am a lucid dreamer. I remember everything I dream about. And the thing is, it's, 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 it's not spectacular. <laughs> the dreams are, now are more, more often than not reflecting the, the goings on in my life where it's more of a series of success and failure. I'm, I'm, almost, I'm always stumbling around in my dreams. I'm never, I'm never uh, uh, amazing or great at anything. I simply stumble from point to point to point. Uh, I get to where I need to get going, but not very successfully. <laughs> I know it's not a, something that spectacular would say, oh, yeah, I'm great at this and great at that and I'm great at this. And, you know, I really, not, I'm not great at anything. I, I'm a person who, whose success is more due to to perseverance than anything else. I don't quit. That's how I succeed, because I just don't quit. Uh, and I think that's where a lot of people have problems, is that they don't like the amount of time it takes to get to a particular point, so they say, well, why bother? And uh, and so they end up quitting, and this is why they, they wonder, well, how can you do something like you're doing, like you're doing, because you're not think great. And I say, yeah, but then again, I don't quit. I keep going. I keep pushing forward. And this is kind of, uh, if you will, my thing as to how I survive. And as I said before, my comfort, because everything changes from time to time. You know, every, nothing during the day is ever the same. The day is always, each day is always a little different. The only certainty, the only regularity in my life is the YouTube show. And it's like a security blanket. It's like a, it's a form of comfort that you need to have when your life is always in change, always in flux. And so I do enjoy the YouTube show. I do enjoy watching the various different people. Um... Uh, and it's, 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 you even watch like the one I'm watching now that I'm paying more attention to is uh, Carly Reese's because she's going through a very difficult time. I don't think many people can sort of understand what, what she's going through. She's at a point in her life where she's in the senior year of high school, but at the same time, she's been working for almost 10 years years of her life, and now there is a change. As everyone's just beginning life, she has now what we we'll call a midlife crisis where she's at the midpoint of, of, of her life because she's been working for 10 years already. Most people, uh, they work for about 20 years and then they move on to something else. Uh, it, or, they, or they actually retire because uh, this is the way life kind of goes. But to watch her sort of struggle through this and how she deals with the various different aspects 
And uh, watching from the beginning and see you go from a crowded house uh, of whoa, uh, of larger groups of people there, because uh, she had uh, three other brothers, they all had girlfriends, and so it was a house full of people. Now it's just her, her mom, and her dad. So they've gone from let's say let's say uh, the br three brothers plus the girlfriends. That six people right there. Uh, they went from and then plus the Carly, her mom and her dad. So they went from nine people down to three. And this that is quite a significant shift in the sort of the family dynamic, and you sort of see how they struggle in terms of how they adjust the vlog uh, to the realities of what's going on. And the thing is, that at the same time, they're no longer what we would call children where they're going out to theme parks and so on and so forth. So the vlog has to change from this sort of uh, youthful, um, euphoric type of vlog where they're going out to uh, malls all the time or they're going out to uh, amusement parks or something that's fun for the kids. Now it's more about the conversation. It's more about it's more about hanging out with the person, and do you like the company you keep? And this is for me the preferable type of vlog. As I see here, that it's mostly discussion. It's not anything, you know, uh, being uh, hyper or excited or anything along that. It, it's the conversation that that is here. But that, that's not for everybody. It, and you have to understand that not everyone's going to like this. And there are other options out there. So as long as you're happy with what you're producing and, and you understand that in many cases it's just for you, uh, then you you keep going. But but there are these challenges out there. I like, I like watching, uh, now I'm watching Carly Reese more, uh, watching her evolve into YouTube into a variety of different styles that she really wasn't doing before. Now she's doing it. It does take a while to get sort of comfortable with these ideas, with the new style of vlogging, but I think she's doing a great job, and I'd say that's great for her.